as we do all my development. And my keyboard for doing soundtracks to music. And uh, there are my, my testing, two of my Android testing devices. Hi guys, welcome to the intro for my channel, the Unity Game Dev. My name is Frederick. I'm a part-time game developer. I use Unity as my platform of choice. Uh, I'm a full-time dad and I also have a full-time job. So in this video, I'm gonna show you my studio where all the magic happens. And um, anyways, just talk about how I got into this, uh, you know, running a channel in the first, first place. So about 10 years ago, I started my uh, game development studio. I've been wanting to do it for a very, very long time, but uh, I have kind of a scattered brain. I, I'm an entrepreneur. I've started many businesses. I've, I've uh, ran an e-bike business. Um, I've sold cars, uh, used cars. Um, I've run a, uh, a computer building company. Uh, website company, uh, recently uh, Amazon business. Um, I'm just into many things, but I've always wanted to develop games. Um, since I was about, when I was about six or seven, uh, my dad got us a uh, um, uh, Commodore 64 and uh, that was just crazy. I remember playing uh, Frogger on it and a bunch of other games and learning to code in, I believe it was basic, just basic commands, you know, like running, uh, creating little sounds. I would just input these different numbers to create different tunes, and it was just really amazing to me what you could do. Uh, then I became, uh, when I was around 11, uh, I got introduced to Mortal Kombat 2, and that changed my life. I mean, the characters were so lifelike, lifelike, um, it was just a amazing experience and I'm like, I want to create that. I want to do that. And that's usually what happens to me when I see something that I love, I want to do it. And I start, you know, moving towards that. But anyways, I became a teenager and stopped uh, with the development and all that. And it wasn't until, uh, you know, my thirties, my early thirties that I really started, um, seriously developing games. Um, and, um, so yeah, around the age of 32 or so, that's when I, uh, you know, first started developing games. Prior to that, I was developing apps uh, natively in Xcode. Uh, I have a few that I'll show, show you guys. Um, and um, I've developed, uh, let's see how many Unity games. Well, first I started with Cocos 2D. So I have, um, uh, I, Smarty ABC, which I have a, a video about that. Um, that was for my daughter. That one actually got featured, did pretty well. Uh, after that, I did um, Minesweep Jet Hero. I'm really proud of that game. It's a 2D side scroller, also built in Cocos 2D. Uh, then I switched to Unity because um, it was just difficult to port my games to Java. It was just a lot of work. So I researched and found Unity uh, and it's been a great help because you know you develop one time and you can deploy to I mean Xbox, PlayStation, um, iOS, Xcode, uh, sorry iOS, uh, Android, uh, just you know so many platforms. So yeah I while I was learning it I developed this game called Animal Rampage and that game started um, so selling really, really well. Well, actually, it was a free download, but um, I, I've had over 250,000 downloads. And um, at the beginning, I was getting about 2,500 downloads a day. I was ranked uh, number 50 in simulation games. With Animal Rampage, there were some months I was making $1,000 a month. And um, that was about, what, four and a half, five years ago. Uh, I haven't really touched it and it's still bringing in money. Now it's down to maybe $100 a month. It kind of fluctuates. Um, most of it's from in-app purchases and some comes from ad revenue. But it does 
drive me. It does make me excited every month, just kind of going in and looking at the reports and seeing it's still bringing in some money. You know, it's like a passive income. Uh, I really want to upgrade that game, but uh, since it was uh, built so long ago in Unity, it's, it's kind of difficult. Not impossible. So, you know, that's one of the future projects I want to do because I know if I revamped it, uh, the diamonds will spike again. Uh, but anyway, so why did I decide to start this channel? Um, when I'm developing games, I usually set myself a deadline. I say I have to do this in three months, four months, or so forth. And I, and I work towards that goal. And um, it's just been... Sometimes there are things that I skip. Uh, like, uh, let's say there's a lighting. You know, I need to learn about lighting, but I know I need to finish up the game. So, you know, I kind of just skim certain things. And I really love to learn. So I figured if I start a YouTube channel I could you know that will force myself to really learn a topic very well so that I can present that very well to you guys and that's the second reason is um, I want to I, I want to make information available to others so they can more easily create games um, kind of learn from my, my experience um, there's a lot of you know business experience, marketing experience um, that I can bring to the table for those who are maybe struggling, they're new to uh, development. So, so yeah, and it's not just you know with game development. I mean, I've got a full-time job. Uh, I'm a dad. I've got two daughters. Uh, family man. Uh, you know, I can do videos about how I'm finding time to you know create all these games on the side. Um, so just to go over my game list, I started out with uh, Smarty ABC and that was created in Cocos 2D. Then Minesweep Jero, Jet Hero also in Cocos 2D. Then I moved to Unity uh, with Animal Rampage. Uh, after that, I bought uh, like a shell of a game in the Unity App Store, and I created a game called um, Endless Ninja Jump. And then I created a, like a casual player. Um, it's kind of going after that kind of flappy bird feel. And um, that one was called Jump Zoo. That one didn't do well. I'm very proud of it actually, because it's one of those one touch games, but it just didn't do very well. Um, and my new project is working uh, on, uh, an app for Unity. That's kind of like a game app. It's called 3D Meditation, and I have a few uh, dev dev logs on on that one. Um, and it's kind of cool because while I was doing my dev logs, I ran into long building times, and because I have this channel, I could stop and then make another video. And that one is called uh, Lighting in Unity 2020. So go check that out if you want to learn more about lighting in Unity, especially the 2020 version. Uh, so yeah, let me show you my uh, game studio. So in the back you see some equipment that I use for uh, my channel. I have a uh, kind of like diffuse light all the way in the back and then I have a color light that you can change the colors with uh, over here. And um, so yeah, this is my, I can change the colors with this guy. It's really nice to kind of give you a nice background uh, you know, color on your walls or to layer lights. Uh, then I have this really cool mic because um, usually when I record on my Nikon D5100, uh, the the microphone is not too good, so I, I use this guy. It's and it's plugged into my computer. Uh, oh, did my light just die? Oh yeah, crap! My light just died. So anyway, let me um, show you my computer. Let me just log in. Let me turn on the lights. So yeah, this is my MIDI keyboard where I make, uh, I can make soundtracks for my games. I have a sound, I have an external sound card uh, that I can use to record instruments, also for soundtracks, and I also use it to uh, where my mic, my mic's basically plugged into that when I do my channels. Uh, I got two nice. Um, monitors, always work with two monitors. I've got a game PC that I built myself, a uh, gaming PC I built about two years ago. 
it's still running really really strong uh, I got a Corsair keyboard with uh, lights so I don't really use the lights too much um, but they are there and a really cool mouse that I recommend this is a Logitech MX Master 2S it's really good it's got a bunch of button a bunch of buttons so yeah uh, this is really good if you're working in Blender or in any kind of 3D program like Unity, you know, when you're moving around in the scene and you got to do a bunch of stuff. Uh, really cool. Um, but yeah, also my game studio is Colosa Games. This is a Tarsier. Uh, it's a little animal that exists uh, in the Philippines. I actually visited the Philippines um, maybe 15 years ago. And the reason why I chose that as my logo is I wanted to make uh, non-violent games, you know, cute games. If you look at my game Jump Zoo, you'll get an idea of that. Even Animal Rampage, which maybe is a little bit violent because you can, you know, that with the animals you can attack people, you know, there's no blood and so on in there. So, but this is really the feel I'm going for. So thank you for tuning into my channel. Uh, give a like and subscribe, turn on the bell. I really appreciate that. And uh, I hope to see you soon. Thanks.